Motor Week is made possible by Lucas Oil, TireRack.com, and RockAuto.com. A few weeks ago, we tested the Toyota Camry station wagon. We mentioned that the Japanese haven't been very successful at capturing much of the family station wagon market here. But things have gone better for the Europeans. They practically own the upper crust sections of the U.S. wagon market. Now, Volvo's been the most successful, but as usual, the most prestigious buyers have beat a path to the three-pointed star of Mercedes-Benz. Their 300 TD has gone through a complete transformation for 1987. So earlier this year, we loaded up our test gear to see how it came out. It was the first week in January, and the Motor Week staff headed south from Baltimore to the warmer climes of Savannah, Georgia. We planned a week of evaluation at the Roebling Road Race Course, and our Mercedes-Benz 300 TD Turbo would prove to be a workhorse as well as a test case. While you might think a racetrack is an unfair place for a wagon, remember that the 300 TD is based on the same excellent W124 chassis used by the year and a half old 300 and new 260 sedans. Like its predecessor, the 300 TD is a five passenger mid-size design, but with a royal weight of almost 3,700 pounds. It shares the sedan's front styling, a flowing harmonious look. The chin spoiler smooths airflow under the body and the sloped flush headlamps help do the same over the hood and fenders. The lights also have washers with small wipers that do a good job of keeping the lenses bug free. The windshield uses Mercedes giant single blade system that clears 86% of the area in one sweep. The rear end has less of a pinched look than the sedan. There's also a wiper washer to keep the back window of the walk under tailgate tidy. We wish though the tailgate window would open separately but there is power assist for hatch closure. Inside, cargo room is generous and includes a net to keep loose articles from flying forward during quick stops. The net didn't obstruct vision much, but the window shade cargo cover will do just that for prying eyes. Plus, if you need more room, the split folding cushions increase the flat cargo space by 80%. The front passenger seat also reclines to handle loads up to nine and a half feet long. A roof rack is standard and seems sturdier than on past Mercedes-Benz wagons. Rear seat room is also generous, and Mercedes-Benz provides shoulder belts too. Up front, the interior is virtually the same as the 300 sedans. There's Mercedes style and luxury, but with just enough utility to make this a practical station wagon. All the expected comfort and safety features are here, including an airbag-equipped supplemental restraint system, automatic air conditioning, and a security system. The seats are very firm with excellent back support. We would only add higher side bolsters for the bottom seat cushions. You adjust the seats with seat-shaped switches mounted on the doors. They include a two-position memory recall. The memory switches also control the power telescoping steering wheel that is also standard. That wheel sits just below a gauge cluster that includes everything we desire except voltage. Numbers are big, white, and make readouts easy to grasp at a glance. The only transmission is a four-speed automatic that shifts as smoothly and firmly as any we've tested. That gearbox is attached to the 300 TD Turbo's only power plant, a six-cylinder, three-liter inline turbocharged diesel. Its mechanical fuel injection and single overhead camshaft assure efficient operation. EPA mileage estimates are 23 city and 27 highway. We recorded a perfect average of 25 on our 100-mile economy loop. So being a diesel means good mileage, but does it also mean the 300 TD Turbo is just a fancy slug? Hardly. Compared to the old car's five-cylinder turbo diesel, horsepower is up 16% to 143, and torque grew 6% to 195. More torque is available sooner, too, and that translates into very un-diesel-like acceleration. Zero to 60 is very fast for its class at 11.2 seconds, and a quarter mile of 18.1 seconds at 74 is just a hair slower than the last Volvo 740 turbo gasoline-powered wagon we tested. Handling is also impressive for any car this size, wagon or not. Soft riding springs do let the 300 TD roll over in corners, but it's less noticeable inside the car. 
If you thought all modern steering systems had to be rack and pinion, then you haven't tried Mercedes Power Ball Type Unit. It's precise and properly boosted with fine road feel. Its ratio is a little slow for our taste, but we're getting used to those giant Mercedes-Benz steering wheels. It feels smaller on the 300 TD Turbo, even if it isn't. You do feel the weight of the 300 TD in an emergency lane change, but the multi-link self-leveling rear suspension never wandered off course. But as with the sedan, we think the wagon's 15-inch tires are still too skinny. However, the 300 TD skinny turning circle of 35 feet will be welcomed in tightly packed parking garages. Brakes are a thing of beauty on all Mercedes-Benz cars. The 300 standard anti-skid four-wheel disc setup makes stopping effortless. Fate is a word not spoken here, and stability is king. Our average from 55 was a scant 107 feet. The system requires a lot of pedal pressure before you feel pulsing in your foot so the presence of ABS is not obvious until it's needed. Not much else is obvious inside the 300 TD Turbo at highway crews either. A sound level of 66 decibels at 55 is excellent, and there is none of the boomy interior noise that makes some wagons tiring on long trips. But then, for $42,500, you expect only the best. Indeed, the Mercedes-Benz 300 TD hits us best with its understated luxury, Excellent utility, spirited diesel powertrain, fine handling, and short-stopping anti-lock brakes. It comes up short only on not having a rear hatch with an opening glass panel, and tires that could be wider. Safety-wise, it passes on all five counts, with standard steel radial tires, halogen headlamps, five-mile-per-hour bumpers, front passive restraints, and rear shoulder belts all standard. We believe that any Mercedes-Benz wagon should hold the place as the world's most prestigious station wagon. But the improvements on this latest incarnation, the 300 TD Turbo, make it worthy for reasons that go far beyond just its Mercedes-Benz bloodline. And we'll see you next time.